UFC 300 and Explosive Night Max Holloway did the impossible and put Justin Gaethje out face planted the dude absolutely incredible scenes Alex Pereira absolutely spanked Jamal Hill with one slap literally Mike Cano went in there and absolutely mauled and destroyed Jalen Turner after everybody talked so much shit against him got on the mic and had an explosive night again predictably by Money Mike Cano one person who didn't enjoy any of it was Israel Adesanya all his boys Jalen Turner Jamal Hill they all got spanked he didn't like that even in the predictions he was laughing about Mike Cano going in there against Jalen Turner He's not going to submit him. He's not? I don't think so. Turner's going to keep his distance, keep teeping them. And then Moicano's going to walk forward and then money, money, boom, boom, boom. Official pick? I'm going to go Jalen. And then Moicano's going to walk forward and then money, money, boom. <laughs> <laughs> How did that work out for you, bro? And if you go back two videos, you'll see that I did a video that got demonetized, deranked, and totally suppressed. Absolutely dead in the water because I said a couple of uh, spicy things in there. I was talking about Israel Adesanya going after Moicano, pretty much calling him a racist. And we're going to talk about Israel Adesanya pretty much calling the nation of Australia racist in his recent interview. We shocked at the reception for him in Australia. Nah, they're racist. They're racist. Yeah. That's what you felt it was. Yeah, no, just also, I think it's just me and them and... That's gross. <laughs> so there you have it. The nation of Australia cheered for Sean Strickland because they're racist. Of course, this guy, I mean, I could make videos ad nauseum about Israel Adesanya, especially when he speaks. <laughs> what about fucking... Does yeah. that affect oh, no, you? Never, dude. Nah, man. That's a myth. <laughs> okay. Facts. I made records this week. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not just in the fight game, not just in the cage. I was making records. Shout out to the puppy. What? Puppy? Whoa, what kind of code word was it? <laughs> what the fuck? Every time the orifice at the front of his face opens up, some shit rolls out. He needs a roll of toilet paper for his mouth half of the time. And in this interview with Ariel Helwani, I'm literally, I'm, I'm not even putting much energy into covering all the rich stuff that he said but this one kind of stood out to me because there's articles about it and the question that i ask of israel's fans or people in general that are watching this video is that apply the same metrics to any single white fighter if he said this about any sort of people we know that israel adesanya has a history of it he went after drake's duplessis because he's white he went after moicano and said that he hated immigrants i want to be a police officer for the united states and kick all the immigrants out he went after Robert Whitaker in the most hypocritical way, sad, pathetic. But I want to show you this little clip here because I think it's important when we criticize people like Israel Adesanya and invariably we get hit with, you're a hater, bro, you're jealous. It's like, okay. Okay, so here we have Dan Hooker and Israel Adesanya pretty much defaming and going after Hanato Maikano before last weekend's fight. And it's very interesting what they say in terms of just liking a person or disliking a person and how cool and casual they are with their own beliefs in that system. Yeah. You like the matchup? I oh, just, that's so, I look at him and I hear him speak and I'm just like, fuck, I want to punch your chin off. Like, I don't know, I like him. I like what, him too. I've got you, no... Has he said anything to you? No, no, no nothing. You just like, don't like the way you sound. Nah, I just don't like, like people say that, oh, you know, I just don't like the sound of his voice. I don't like the look it's on his honest. face. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you see something, you're like, fuck that guy. I think that was Victoria the first time. Oh, what's your reason? Uh, it's like, I wanna do I him. need a reason? I love that. I love that, that honesty from the two tards here sitting on the couch. But it's very poignant in terms of what we do criticizing UFC fighters. Why do you hate Israel Adesanya? Why do you hate Ian Gary so much? Get a life. You're 45 years old in your mom's basement. But when we have the inversion of that and we have the professional fighters, with them it's okay to just not like someone because of their face because of their voice and you have Adesanya looking right into the camera saying it's just that way sometimes you just don't like some people it's like okay can we apply that metric to every single YouTube video that criticizes you and the way you act and they're talking about Mike Cano that they don't like his voice they don't like his face they just want to punch it in but when somebody dislikes Adesanya for the crazy delusional shit that he says they're racist I don't get it I don't believe it I think there's narcissism involved it's kind of like if you don't like me you have to be racist you just said here for five minutes that you didn't like Mike Cano because of his face I just don't like the sound of his voice I don't like the look on it's his honest. face. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you see something, you're like, fuck that guy. 
No shit. In the same interview with Ariel Helwani, Israel Adesanya spoke about how he has no real interest in the Alex Pereira rematch. And it does make sense in fairness to him. He said that he's got the rematch with Strickland, he wants to fight with Drikis, and that he wants to fight Hamza Chemaev. Three interesting new fights and you want to get one back with Sean Strickland. I get it. That's cool. You said that you didn't have any interest in Alex Pereira. So why did it look like someone had shit in your pocket when he sparked Jamal Hill unconscious? If you don't care about fighting him again, if you don't care about his trajectory as a champion up at 205, if you really just want positive things for Alex Pereira and he can go and do his own thing and us fighting a four time wouldn't be any good for anyone to watch and what would it achieve? Why did you have a face like a slapped arse? I can only imagine it plays into the whole theme of this video where if someone doesn't like you, they're racist. If Drikis says that he's the only guy fighting in the UFC that lives and breeds in Africa, you take offense to that and you go on a delusional rant for two months. Hey, let's go, what's up, let's go, yeah, what's up, get this, don't do, yeah, my African brother. So I think the fact that Jamal Hill is one of your boys, and he got put unconscious with one slap, that didn't sit well with you. And it didn't sit well with Kamara Usman, who's sitting next to you. These are the two Nigerian fighters. And during the Ariel interview, you talk about, Drikis is a fan of mine. He's actually a fan of mine. He follows me. I don't follow him, but he's a fan of mine. And I paved the way. He's the fourth African champion in the UFC. Follows me, but I'm like, I guess that's maybe him trying to... I, I think he's actually a fan. He just has to fight me, but he's actually a fan. He's a big fan. A I fan of yours? Him. Yeah, of course. I paved the way for him. You know, without me, one of the great African champions, he wouldn't be here. He's the fourth African champion in this game. <laughs> Then he talks about himself in Kamara Usman and Nigeria. It's like, dude, you were in Nigeria for five minutes. I've spent longer waiting for bosses. He talks about the fight game being his business and it's all about business with me. He is very emotionally invested in the Drikis Duplessis fight. He wants that fight. He wants to prove something. I wonder what it could be. Something keeps coming to the forefront of Israel Adesanya's personality every time he has a little bit of a meltdown. And it's usually got to do with a black fighter and a white fighter or a black nation and a white nation. As a product of colonization, you go, is this cracker? The cracker, cracker. It's quite disgusting that he sees this fight game or society in general through the prism of race. Especially given the fact that he lives in a nice western country like New Zealand after bouncing out of the shithole of Nigeria. He seems to be not at ease with his life choices, he seems to be not at ease in his own personality and he's projecting that onto people like Australia in general. Because the reason they didn't cheer for me, not because they're not allowed to dislike me like I can just dislike people randomly for the look on their face or the way their voice sounds, it wasn't because they just disliked me like that, it's because they're racist. Good job bro, you keep exposing yourself every time you speak, keep doing it and do me a favour maybe share this video, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff because as I said I did a video just a couple of days ago on Israel Adesanya, some decent revelations in there, some decent stories that didn't make it to the mainstream and they're never going to because the video gets slammed and demonetized. So let's help make this one push forward a little bit better. Cheers.